Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to farm seasonal points extremely quickly since we need 636,000 seasonal points in order to buy out the entirety of the shop I'm going to be telling you how to farm all of that within a day which is a lot and I don't recommend it but I know there are people out there that just want to focus on Elden Ring or focus on Lost Ark so that they can focus on other games or maybe they're just really busy maybe you got like a business trip or something coming up and you're like oh I've only got a couple days to play before real life kicks in and uh, you know I just want to get all of this out of the way right now well today's video is for you but first of all, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily, so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want you guys to do when you log in is to go to the shop over here and go to item recycle. Now you're going to scroll down a little bit and you're going to see right here spring S points plus 100%. So you are going to need either AC scratch items or SG scratch items. I highly recommend using the SG scratch items simply because we get a free SG scratch every single day. And for most of you, I know you have a lot of SG recycle badges just sitting around collecting dust. So you might as well spend them. So you're going to click on spring S points over here. And right here, the first option is with AC. Again, I don't recommend it. You click on the second option here. Then for me, I have material storage. And over here, you can see I have SG recycle badges. Badges. Now you may have noticed I only have four and you're like, Caro, you only have four, what happened? Well, this is because I am on my ship one character. However, keep in mind that the points are account wide. So I farmed the 16,000 points. I actually farmed a lot more points on my ship two character, which is the overpowered main character. And then I logged into my ship one character. I had all of the seasonal points and I could just spend it all and buy everything I wanted to gear her up extremely quickly, which is why you can see her battle power is 2002 right now. However, that 100% seasonal point boost is not enough. We need more. So we're going to talk to Satir over here. And you may notice that she has a second option over here called Exchange Seasonal Gathering Items. So over here, you can actually get this Balloon Mix, which actually gives you 10% more seasonal points for two hours. So in order to exchange for one of these, you're actually going to need to go out to the open field to collect the Spring Balloon Eye. And once you collect 10 of them, you can exchange them for one Balloon Mix, which will give you that extra 10% boost for two hours. Now keep in mind, this one lasts for two hours, but the Spring S Seasonal Points plus 100% only lasts for one hour. So make sure that you don't forget to refresh your 100% Seasonal Point Booster after one hour. So now I know a lot of you guys are wondering, Caro, do those buffs even stack? And yes, they do stack. We have tested it. So uh, yeah, go nuts with it because it's 110% more seasonal points. You're going to be farming points extremely, extremely quickly. Okay, the next question I know a lot of you guys have is, okay, Caro, I have all of these boosters. Where do I farm? So you have two places to farm. You can either do Mount Magnus or Vanford Laboratories. Now, the reason I say this is because we are not going to be doing rank three zones. We are going to be doing the rank one zones. So the rank one zone in Mount Magnus, all the mobs are level five. You're literally going to go in as a force or a ranger and you will one shot everything. All right. You're just going to obliterate everything. Very, very simple. Or if you're like me and you hate Mount Magnus because of its verticality, you can go to Vanford Laboratories rank one because all the mobs are level 10 and you can obliterate everything there equally as fast. And within several hours, you're bound to earn a ton of seasonal points. Now there is a downside to this method and the downside is, well, you're not getting any significant loot. You might be getting a little bit of a setup, but it's really just there for the seasonal points. Now for those who want to kill two birds with one stone, what I would recommend is Vanford Laboratories rank three or Resil Forest rank two, simply because you can get Strugman's A, B, and C, which can still be used to make arms refiners to limit break your weapons and armors. So I personally am going to be farming in Vanford Laboratories rank three because I am in no rush to get 636,000 seasonal points. I'm just gonna farm it slowly at my own pace and enjoy the process. However, again, if life is getting in your way or you simply just want to focus on other games because you really want to beat Elden Ring or you really need to catch up in Lost Ark or something, well, then this is the method to just get all the seasonal points, get all of the items from the shop so you don't have to worry about missing out. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!